We're back here on Giants.com, and today's Giants insider is Giants linebacker Nate Stupar. Nate, you had a chance to play a lot of nickel linebacker last week with Ray Ray Armstrong's injury. Now mm -hmm. he's been placed on IR, so that role likely will continue. How do you think you did, and what do you think the key is to being successful in that role? Um, I'm just going to continue to get better each and every week. Um, I mean, I got here uh, six weeks ago, so continue to learn the defense and stuff like that, but it was really fun to get back out there and play some defense with uh, some special teams. So um, glad to be here and uh, just continue to get better each and every week. Where do you think you are in terms of learning the defense? Uh, James Betcher likes to do a lot of different things, moves guys around, brings a lot of different blitzes. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you're a late arrival. So where are you in terms of understanding this defense? Is it completely instinctual for you yet? Um, I know the first the first couple uh, weeks, it was just a, a grind mentally, yeah. just like in the playbook 24-7. But uh, I have a really good handle of it now. Just I, I'm obviously been around the league a little bit, and uh, you play a lot of the same defenses, just you're sure. speaking a different language. So... Um, I, I got a lot of the language down now and got a lot of it uh, in my brain. So uh, just cleaning things up here and there, but uh, overall it's going really well. And the Falcons have had a pretty dynamic aerial attack this year, so probably a lot of nickel situations next Monday night. You're familiar with the Falcons from your time with the Saints. What kind of challenges does Matt Ryan and that offense present a defense? Uh, they bring a lot of challenges. I mean, you got one, you got one of the best receivers in the game. You got Julio Jones, and uh, uh, you got Sanu as well, who's just a, another image of Julio. Um, then you got Hooper as a tight end, who's also a threat. And um, I mean, they can attack you every different way. So you just got to really be on your p's and q's and uh, just play good ball. Finally, the defense as a team. You guys don't want to give up 30 points a game. You've done so for three straight weeks. Mm -hmm. How, as a group, do you guys get better and try to slow down that Falcons offense? We just got to stay tight as a unit, you know. And uh, you know what? You're going to have some bad plays, but you just got to limit those bad plays and stick together as a defense, run around. And uh, a big thing we need to do is uh, make some turnovers and make some uh, big key plays in the, this game coming up. And, uh, I mean, you get turnovers, you look at the margin of uh, wins. I mean, people get turnovers, you win games. So, uh we just need to focus on that. And the Giants won win this year was a game they were in the plus turnover ratio category against the Houston Texans. Nate, we appreciate the time. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Giants.com.